Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing really, really well. Today I'm going to be speaking about where I've been and why I haven't been on YouTube. So if you do want to find out, please stick around. So guys, I haven't been here for quite some time now. It's nothing. It's not that I want to stop doing YouTube. I've just had so much on a broad range of issues i was having them a while ago you know with the squirrel and onyx and everything else that was gone on i now am doing this so you know what's been going on where i've been why i've been you know so after all the issues and that arised before i was sort of getting really tired i was ill i was poorly and I didn't know why so I was just sort of a bit everywhere I didn't want to make videos really I didn't want to sit and edit videos I just wanted to lounge about do nothing I didn't even want to do my housework to be fair with you but I'd, I've been doing it obviously you know I'm not a scrubber <laughs> but then I found out something which I'll talk to you about in a bit I sort of my daughter kept getting ill and she kept making me ill and then i've been having quite a few appointments and stuff and then i found out that i had a uti so i went on antibiotics i then found out it was a very severe uti and i had to go more antibiotics i then i didn't have time to sit and do videos I've been working nearly 40 hour weeks. Bearing in mind I was only sort of working part time. It's quite a lot of hours in the week. Like, I don't work weekends at all. Unless like, you know, they're really desperate and I've got a chance to do it. But nine times out of ten with my daughter and activities outside of school and stuff like that. I just don't have time. So, I've been working 40 hour a week so my week's pretty much took off. Then on Friday, it not Friday, Saturday, sorry, we go see family members, do things. Sundays, it's a bit of a, we've had a hard week. Let's have a lie in, catch up with the housework. If you can hear that, that's my cat. Um, I don't know, two seconds. Sorry, here he is. Bless his little cotton socks. Good boy, aren't you? <laughs> Don't know. He's um, another thing of where I've been. Always try and find out what you're doing now. <laughs> Good enough. I've obviously been ill. Things been going on. And then last week we were on holiday for a week. Well, four days. It was Halloween. Went Halloween with Skyla's cousin. She obviously wanted to do that rather than going on holiday all week. So we did that. Then we obviously went on holiday. Went on holiday four days. Went to a place called Clacton on Sea. I mean, it was a lovely, quiet, peaceful place away from where we live. I didn't have to work. My fella didn't have to work. We spent quality time together as a family and it was much needed, really, really was needed. So I'm watching what he's doing now. Um, but we went on holiday for four days, then I came back, I made sure I did my housework before I went away because I didn't need to come back to that, I did me washing while I was on holiday. Um, but then we came back Sunday night. And Monday morning, Skyla was back at school and Onyx was booked in to get his claws off. So, he's had them done. So, he's been poorly this sort of last week, been on meds and things. He's doing much better now, as you can see. He's currently licking my floor after something. He's just been fed. He's had something called cat mousse, whatever that is, that's happened this week. And I would also just like to say the reason I'm being tired so much is I found out I was pregnant. So, yeah, I'm now 16 weeks 
I was 16 weeks yesterday. I, it, it's been overwhelming, you know. We've got a nearly six year old. I've been trying to plan a birthday party too. So she wants this indoor thing with a bouncy castle and she wants space hoppers and a disco and all this sort of stuff. Even though we've gone through a remembrance parade today for, you know, obviously Remembrance Sunday with her scouts and she's wore earmuffs all the way because she doesn't want noise. So a bit bizarre, but you know. She's um, also, I haven't told her this, but she's going to have Ladybug from Miraculous come to a party. So yeah, she's going to love that. But yeah, like I said, I've been so busy. I've had so much on. I was also diagnosed with something called strep B while I've obviously been pregnant, which is obviously why I had the UTIs. Um, why I was on so much antibiotics. Again, I'm not telling you all this so you feel sorry for me. I'm just explaining to you that I've had so much on. We've come had to come around to the idea to another little one appearing. I've been poorly. Like she, a couple of weeks back, had slap cheek syndrome. Passed on something to me and her dad. And we've been flued up and got a cough ever since. That you can probably tell a little bit by my voice. But I am better now. It's mainly just a cough that I've got. But yeah, I just wanted to come on. Explain to you what's been going on. Where we've been. What the crack is. And yeah, so... I do apologise about the lack of content, about not getting back to people. I did try a couple of times, like I tried on the day after Bonfire Nights uploading the the fireworks video. Um, that is in my, my shorts if anyone's interested. It's just fireworks going off in the back garden. It's late at night because we'd only got back off holiday, literally. Then <laughs> we went outside to do these fireworks and then Sky went bed for school. I just wanted to come on, explain to you what the situation is. I mean, if anyone is interested, I can do more vlogs and stuff about the pregnancy and stuff. If not, then, you know, I get that. I mean, not being, it's sort of been awkward for me as well. I just felt it rather awkward like trying to speak about everything that's been going on just lately and I know that everyone could probably going to be like oh, yeah you're on me ill or yeah you found out you're pregnant why, why have you stopped doing videos and I've just been so fatigued so stressed out YouTube just hasn't been my priority and I'm so so sorry for those that watch me all the time and I've had to sit here not giving you anything you're like where's she gone where's she gone i mean i have lost subscribers over it don't get me wrong and you know you're all entitled to do that like i ain't keeping you hostage here do you know what i mean but at the same time i've had to look after myself i've had to look after my family and i've just needed to get away and do what was best for us <sighs> me cat <laughs> Um, but yeah, my main reason of coming on here is I don't want you thinking that I'm not doing videos anymore. I am. I haven't disappeared off the face of the planet. I am here. I will be doing videos. I've got an Aldi haul downstairs that I'm going to film in a minute. I don't know if my videos will be every day like they used to be at the moment. It might just sort of come back a little and... I might have two or three videos a week rather than the every day. Oh, I used to post about five, six times a week and it's not just that. Yes, I do go to the shops or I do do things, but it's all been where I've had a couple of minutes of one video and a couple of minutes of another and then I end up deleting it because of storage and I don't end up actually showing you what I've brought anyway because there's just nothing to sort of show you. So I don't know if, obviously not food, but like if I start getting things, because it's getting closer to Christmas now, little Christmas bubble. Um, my mum made me these. <laughs> yeah, but it's getting closer to Christmas now, you know, Vlogmas is coming up. I mean, by the time it gets to December, 
I've hopefully got out of all this stuff that's going on. I've hopefully more myself. But right now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not 100% now. I'm probably at about 60% and I'm trying my hardest to sort of push through every day. Look at him. <laughs> Bless him. Um, but I just want you to let you know that I haven't just fell off the face of the earth. I am here. Please keep an eye out for my videos. Please turn the notification bell on if you haven't already. And please keep watching my videos, you know, it does mean a lot to me and I love your comments and I will get around to them. I know I've been saying that for months now, but I shouldn't have been promising you to be fair. Like, I could have, I felt myself going into like a downward spiral between illnesses and, you know, finding out I was pregnant and there's just been a lot to sort of tackle, you know. I have been told and I will tell you this now, I've got to have a plan C-section because of what happened last time with Skylar so again if you are interested in knowing probably close to the time now things in regards to that one please let me know in the comments and if any of you know like more about the strep B thing or you've got stories to share please use the comment section to share your stories with anyone because when I first my midwife phoned me you've got this right see you later bye and I sort of sat there and I was like okay what's this mean what do i do and you search on the internet and the internet is not a good place and i'll tell you this but you still do it anyway and i crapped myself out for a few weeks i was so worried i locked myself away i didn't know what was sort of happening i didn't know what this disease was you know what i mean um, I mean, I know about it now, you know, I, I spoke to my consultant over it and I feel much more at ease, much more at rest over it. But when someone phones you up, oh, just so you know, you've got this, this was found, but see you later. You're kind of sitting there thinking, what am I going to do? Like, what, what, what's what now? And that did concern me for a good few weeks, I'm not going to lie, until I managed to speak to a consultant over it um but yeah so please if you do know anything or you know you just want to rant how have you been do you know what i mean like what's been going on in your lives over the past couple of weeks because obviously i haven't been here and i'm so sorry again that i haven't been here to sort of talk to you all and be here for i don't want sort of tit for tat or anything like that but it's taken a lot for me to come on camera this evening i say this evening it's because it's dark outside near enough and it's black bloody quarter four no, I think it's about four o'clock now, actually. But, yeah, it's it's been hard for me to come on camera after a couple of weeks of not filming me and of not doing anything to sit here in front of you all and tell you that I haven't been well. You know, I'm now under consultants and stuff and the amount of appointments I keep getting through this door at the moment is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not even joking. <sighs> when you're under consultants obviously you all know if you've been under them but they want to see you regularly they want to make sure everything's going okay and you know the further the pregnancy progresses the more they want to see you i've um also got like other ultrasound things going on as well like in my third trimester and stuff to make sure everything's going okay with you know the baby but yeah like I said, if you want to know more anyway, when I'm in a better mindset, you know, I can actually sit down and talk to you all about what's been going on, what's to go on next. But this was just a general video just to talk to you about why I haven't been here and that I am coming back. Don't worry, please hang in and keep watching because, you know, I do love you all so much. And this, it's, it, it brings me joy to make these videos. Well, not this one. This is very sad. <laughs> Not this one, obviously. It's not sad. It's It was just stressful for me to sort of sit here and go, you know, and when you're not so far gone in a pregnancy, you don't want to sort of announce it to the world, you know. So I want to just sit here and just talk to you. Not face to face, obviously, but 
as much face to face possible as I can get. I'm best at letting you go though, so I can edit this video, get it all out to you. And hopefully, if you do like my content, you'll stick around and I will see you in the next video. Bye.